If you've driven or walked through downtown Meridian in the last few years, you've probably wondered what this project across from City Hall is and why there's been no progress for two years. I'm your Meridian neighborhood reporter, Ali Tripke, and after recent lawsuits came to a conclusion, I asked the development company's lawyer on what's next for the project that once promised over 300 new housing units here in the heart of the city. <laughs> I would love to see it finished, really. Alex Domi manages the Roosevelt Bar in downtown Meridian, directly across from the unfinished Union 93 project that once promised two city blocks of mixed-use development on the corner of Main Street and Broadway Avenue. Galena Opportunity Fund's website details the plans for more than 300 residential units, retail, and office spaces, but the project hasn't made any progress in the last two years. I talked to Galena's attorney, James Donovan, over the phone, and he says it was an investor who backed out, leaving the buildings incomplete. Obviously, all of those uh, contractors or subcontractors had done a lot of work and were owed money. Um, and so they all started filing liens and then ultimately filed lawsuits. Since things stalled in 2022, court documents show several cases settled out of court with only one going to trial. In total, Donovan says the developers owe more than $20 million to its contractors, not yet including attorney fees. I asked the city of Meridian for comment and they told me they look forward to the outcome of the legal challenges being resolved and for the project to be completed, becoming an active asset in the community. Residents I spoke to off camera agree and at the Roosevelt, don't Tommy tells me he remembers when the project started and then stalled. I think it would look, it'll be awesome when it's done. Um, and like I said, you know, that the housing would be great because um, just the more foot traffic is a big deal. As for who will pay the settlements, Donovan says it'll be investors. And once that's taken care of, the development company hopes to finish what they started. My clients are telling me that they do have a, a locked in, well, let's see, as locked in as can be, uh, investor that will pay off all of these amounts that are owed to the contractors and then put in money to finish the project. That process would begin once the attorney's fees have been added to the settlement sum and have been paid off by said investor. If that money isn't paid, a judge could order an auction, allowing others to bid on the property. If the original developers are able to start back up on construction, there's no telling whether or not they'd be able to pick up right where they left off. And it's likely that there would be several safety inspections needed. I'm Allie Tripke, your Meridian Neighborhood Reporter for Idaho News 6.